I want to <clears throat> I want to see more battle rappers on beat. I want to hear and see more battle rappers on beat. That freestyle loaded locks down on Funk Flex was out of the world. Um, Arsenal down on freestyle that think was on Hot 97 was out of the world like a year or two before that, right? K Shine just did a freestyle on beat, it was crazy. Daylight did a freestyle on beat, it was crazy, foolish. Sue Surf, that's how you pronounce his name, Sue Surf. He done a freestyle with Dinko on I-95, set the bar up so high. Nobody, anybody else that came in after him, they haven't surpassed that bar. So, like, those type of guys, they need to keep on getting on beats, getting on beats. Because you're sharing, look, what battle rappers, what used to get in a cappella, but we could get on beat, we could shine too. And you're sharing that. So I'm acknowledging you guys. Daylight, K-Shine, Arsenal. Sue Surf, crazy. Mooka freestyle too. He did something hot. I think it was on um, Hot 97 or Funk Flex too. He went crazy one year too. But Mook's most recent freestyle, I think, was on I-95. That was mediocre. That wasn't like the one. That wasn't as crazy as the one he done a couple of years ago. But yeah, battle rappers can make it in the industry. And these guys, these examples like the Loaded Loxes, the Arsenals, the Sue Surfs. Oh, Tay Rock too, sorry. Tay Rock too. I got a lot of guns when he got on that beat. I got a lot of guns. That song there when he got on that and tore the song right up. Sorry for messing Tay Rock, but Tay Rock could do it too. So here's where the other deal too. I know these guys have probably got some fine tuning to do, but they can cross over and get on beat. Because these guys are highly skilled in what they do off beat. You know, so it's about, I guess, riding the beat. The syllables, the wordplay, the metaphors. These guys have got that. But I just got to get on the beats. Get on the beats more often. And I'm not saying sign a deal. You know, even if you're independent, get yourself out there. Don't even wait for a record label to sign you. Because at the same time... You want your freedom, your financial freedom. You want the freedom of your name. So you still got to learn the business side of it too. But I'll be, you know, exciting to see you guys on beat. You guys could really get down on beat. I like that freestyle I saw from K-Shine. You guys just got to keep on elevating your game. And you don't have to just stay and battle rap your whole career. You got to elevate yourself. Nothing's wrong if you grind. And I'm not saying that to say that battle rap's down earth. Because battle rap's a platform. And you got the music industry, it's a platform. Right? It's a lot, there's some similarities, but there's still different platforms. But you guys can still transform and maneuver and move over. Right? Because a lot of people are under this, oh, an industry cat, a battle rap cat. This guy's from the industry. This person's from battle rap. So it's like, oh, if you cross over there, you all sell out or something. What you think, you ain't got bars if you go in, into the mainstream? You're still going to have bars. So a lot of people, like, you got to understand, crossing over is a part of growing. And you come from battle rap. That's what you guys got to understand. So you're always going to have that in you. So, yeah, just keep on elevating yourself. Get on the beats. Do what you got to do. Because you guys sound hard on beat. You can ride the rhythm. Right? Get some publishing, production deals. Got a nice beat maker. Somebody's putting together their beats for you. And you guys will do fine in the industry. But like I said, you don't have to wait for a racket label to sign you. You could go independently. You know? Go around doing your own tours. You know? Build up your stock. Build up your stock. Because right now, a lot of you guys, especially Lux, K-Shine, Arsenal, Sue Surf, Tay Rock, you guys are known for battle rap. You're known. So people know who you are. So all you got to do is keep on marketing and branding yourself. Take yourself to the next level. Don't just stay on the battle rap platform. You could make way more money, you know. Unless you're going to you know, open up some business, get some investments going or something, bring some money in. But you guys get on beats, man. They'll start working towards albums and all that. Well, why don't you guys form your own record label? 
a lot of you battle rappers, you know, being that you feel some way about the industry, come together, form your own record label, and go in the industry. That way there, you're under one roof, under one umbrella. You're all together strong in unison. But I like what I'm seeing. I see you guys on beat. It's exciting me. That's why I said, let me record this video, man. You know, shout out to all you guys getting on beat and just ripping it up. Especially that freestyle they liked on the other day. That was an educational freestyle ring. That was deep. That was like, hell up, play that Mac. Did that man just say that? The levels he was rapping on, like, is intelligent and enlightening at the same time. They like went right off his head. That freestyle was crazy, they like done. And like I said, I like the one that K-Shine done too. But shout out to all you guys, man. Just keep on pushing your music and come underneath one umbrella, form your own record label. Yeah? This is Jamal House of Sports and Entertainment. Appreciate you for taking the time out to watch. Thank you very much.